everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today I'm working on the Beaded Cottage. And we're using number 14, which is a bright blue bead. And let me look. It'll say seven, seven ninety one is the bead color. We're working right down over here. Hush, Molly. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody had a good weekend. I worked all weekend. Yep, it was just stupendous. I can hardly wait for my day off, I'm telling you. But uh, today was a little bit busy for some reason. I'm not real sure. Maybe everybody is going home after Father's Day or something. I'm not real clear on why it was so terribly busy and it rained of course yay and that caused everybody to show up yeah it was just a special day and my help showed up late and one of them didn't show up they were sick oh yeah it, it's been a great day yeah then I had an entire wrestling team come in, unannounced, or didn't even know they were coming, and ordered about 20 pizzas. I ended up having to call the boss to come and help me. Come on, for pity's sake. These beads are a little bit bigger than all the others. They have a nice silver center, though. They're kind of a cobalt blue. I don't know if these are supposed to be flowers or what they're supposed to be. Let me look. Let's see here if I can tell. I guess there's some kind of flowers. I don't have the ah. Nope, I don't have the the actual picture. So I guess it's just some kind of blue flowers in here. There's a bunch of them. Oh, that was special. I didn't even have a bead on that. Oh, I'm telling you. Molly! Jeez Louise. Oh, I don't know where you gotta go for some peace and quiet. I'm about ready to run away and it's only the third week of, of June. But I sure could use a big vacation. Like three months someplace else and it didn't entail restaurant work, but can't take off three months, so guess that won't happen. I'd like to take a ship somewhere sometime, maybe. I don't know. I was on I wasn't on a ship, I was actually on a yacht and it was a twenty two footer and we were sick the whole time, so I don't know why I would want to get on a boat. Never been on a plane, so don't know what that experience is like and I don't relish driving across country by myself. That didn't sound like a good time. I'd take my daughter, but we'd have to take both the kids, so... Yeah, that wouldn't be too relaxing for either one of us. But they're little, so... We'll let them go on the big trips. So, has ever been anybody going on a vacation, or taking a trip, or started a new stitching project do you have any summer plans sometimes people decide they're going to do different projects in the summer always like to hear about those some things that you wouldn't do see I'm one of those people that crafts a different time of the year I this time of year in the summer I wouldn't do much quilting unless it was just uh say a little 16 by 20 picture or or some kind of thing like that you know I'm not gonna do a quilt I usually save that for working on in the winter time when you're you're cold so it it does double but duty it's keeping you warm and you're finishing a project but I don't do quilting anymore I've kind of given that up but uh, sometimes people do different projects at different times of the year because it's just 
too hot of a project to do or you just don't feel like you're in the mood so I haven't worked on my my afghan any because it's one of those hot oh yeah that was special uh, hot projects it's made with a uh, knitting worsted so it's kind of a warm thing so I usually don't work on it in the summertime even if it is done in strips I just haven't had the desire to do that I've been concentrating on stitching and diamond painting and haven't done anything else I haven't worked on any mixed media or painted any pictures lately, so. Yeah, none of it appeals to me, but I guess I'm just too tired mentally to even think about anything too hard or stressful to, you know, you had to give any thought to. This is pretty basic and, and simple, and I don't have to think about it too hard. I just have to know where I'm putting my my beads at and so it gives me something to do and I've been working on uh, that cabin I put uh, two well that one and the peacock I told you I was going to put them in plastic bags baggies bag up all the thread so it wasn't sitting out getting all dirty and everything so I did that for the peacock and for the um, cabin, and I've been working on the cabin a little bit. I just wanted to start it. I, don't know. I, I seriously have doubts about myself. I start things and don't finish them and can't stay focused. My brain is just too tired to even think sometimes. I did order uh, another two more, uh, what do you call it, stitching projects, and who asked me where I got them from? Oh, was it stitching? I, hang on, let me look. All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, it, they were two stitching projects from a place called Beads, B-E-A-D-S, Creative. And uh, I got them off of Amazon. And they're going to be here on Thursday, which means I probably won't get it till Friday. Uh, no, in my stupid post office. Um, oh, dear. And they... They have beads in them, and it said that it was a stamped bead, bead, stamped canvas. So I want it, and it doesn't, I can't tell from their stupid pictures whether it's actually on uh, Ada Cloth or what exactly it's on. So I bought two of them. They weren't too expensive. I think I spent under $30 on two of them and they're flowers but I wanted to see how that bead creative place that's that place that I told you that sold the precocious beads um, that are from uh, their glass beads from Czechoslovakia I think I'd have to go back and look look at uh, Crayola picks I miss her she's always doing something exciting but I guess she had a baby so She's a little busy these days. And I don't blame her. Hell, might as well. Hell, a woman finished the Great Wall for crying out loud. Give her a break. But, uh, yeah, that, that project's still sitting over there. I worked a little bit last night on uh, Dream from Diamond Art Club. I didn't do too much. I just, not Dream. I'm sorry, not Dream. Nola. And uh, I haven't made too much progress on it. It's got a lot of big spaces, kind of like the Great Wall. And I just tired. Just tired would be the, my middle name. Yep. So I didn't work on that last night too long. But I got a little progress done. Not much. I was uh, looking at a couple of more um, 
diamond paintings from uh, Timney Arts. Tin Me Arts. Me Arts. How do you say that? T I N M I. <coughs> Hang in there, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. And uh, seeing if I wanted to order a couple more smaller diamond paintings from them. I'm still debating the one, I think it's called, is it Fathoms Below? The great big one? I think Mrs. Coffee had it, and Stitcherista had it, and uh, some other people. I just can't remember who exactly I saw. It's kind of long, and it's got all kinds of scroll work in it, and fish, and, mer and about four mermaids or something. And it's not any more than any of the others that uh, I've seen. So, really wasn't sure if I wanted to get that one this time or not. I had taken four days off, actually, when I was sick. So, uh, my paycheck will be short by two days, not four. But uh, still, two days is two days, and... And it's getting towards the end of the month, so I'll, I'll kind of see if I want to get that one or not. But that That's high on my list. I may get the Mulan one. I'm just not sure yet. I thought that was awfully pretty. I do not like Tinkerbell. I think Tinkerbell looks stupid. I, I don't know. I was a little disappointed in Mandy Manzano on that one. Um, maybe it looks better in person. I have no idea. Oops, dropped my bead over here. I'm trying to find I got a bead and I got a square. Where yet? I got a square diamond from a, what do you call it? Nola over here. Oh, yeah. That didn't go so well last night. I kept spilling my beads, so I said I'm done for now. Yeah. It just wasn't meant to be that I would work on that, so I just put it away for a while. And I haven't worked on the, the koi fish anymore. Haven't worked on the princesses either. I'm kind of avoiding their, their crazy butts. I'm just... I'm out of the complete notion to finish that thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out later. I don't know. I'm just mad at it and at myself. And couldn't get it done. And it was nuts, so we'll just kind of leave it alone for a while. I pick up the stupidest things. I've still got the deer that I started way back. Like, oh, it must have been first part of the year. I got those from a 21 Secret store on uh, Amazon. It's a real pretty diamond painting. It's just, yeah, don't want to do that either. I don't know. The more I see all this stitching crap, the more I want to do it instead of the diamond painting. But it's kind of hard. I just go back and... What in the heck? Oh, I came up. Seriously? Okay. Take the bead off. Now i got to move this. Because it is definitely going in the wrong direction. Try again. Some days I just ain't got no patience for any of it. Last night I sat there and probably watched eight episodes of, what do you call it, Grey's Anatomy, just because I just physically couldn't move. And then I went to bed about midnight. Could I sleep? Oh, heck no. So, yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how summer pans out here. <coughs> I still got this crazy cough. It's driving me crazy. I'll do some of that that green after I get this next bead in here that's coming up along the side. It's easier to see this orange than it will be to see that green once I get that orange up there. So hang on. We got to get into another place and then I gotta figure out what color that green is. Hang on guys. I think it's 27 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is 27. All right, hang on. Got to find my my little containers. 
I love my little round containers for beads. Yeah, diamond painting, not so much. Hang on, we gotta find. Oh, you wouldn't believe this. I mean, I've got the beads for the big one, and you gotta get dig into the back end here. Well, not 22. 27, yay! We found it. And Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to smash into the thing. Okay. Can you still see where I'm at? I'm going to bring it in a little bit. If I get too close... Crud. There we go. Okay, so we're going to work on this green part. I'm going to just go till the shadow gets to it. And that way, at least you can see what I'm doing. Yep. No, haven't gotten to Walmart yet either. Oop, let me get that out of my way so I don't drop it. I'm setting this in a boat. So if I move it, it might hit the edge before it'll flip over. Oh, I'm telling you. Something else. Nothing going on here. Exactly. Just work. Seems like I am just so boring. I was trying to think of tag lists or lists that I could go through, you know, like books or movies or records or I don't know. I, I'm not real good at trying to find subjects to discuss while I'm doing all this. So I just try to tell you what's going on in my life and my day. But, uh, Can you see where I'm at in them? But, uh, and not much happens around here. It's kind of quiet. It's been raining for the past week, so, I mean, even if I did have a day off, you can't go for a hike or anything. Oh, I made the world's worst dinner. Oh, my God. Well, I make this stuff, and it's called Skillet Fiesta. And I got this recipe from my mother, who has had it since I was in high school about 40 years ago. And the way it's supposed to go is you're supposed to take a pound of hamburger and brown it with a medium onion that's been chopped up. All right, Drain off the grease and drain off the grease. And then you add two cups of water and two bouillon cubes oh you're supposed to also cut up green peppers with that green peppers onions and then fry the the beef okay add two cups of water after you get it all fried and drained and you add the two bouillon cubes and a can of corn and drain it and can of diced tomatoes and drained well not drained you can add that that juice but not the corn juice and then you add a cup of minute rice you remember minute rice so that'll tell you how long ago it was all right so minute rice and then you cover it up you know and put it on simmer until the rice is absorbed in the the whole mess and it's really good. It's like it holds together and everything. Okay. So now you know all the ingredients. So tonight I had a half a pound of hamburger, a can of corn, and a small can of tomato paste. And I had the onion and I had red pepper instead of green pepper. So I cut up and fried the onion and the green and the red pepper. And then I added the um, the uh, tomato paste, and I added oh probably a good cup of water, and stirred that all into with the hamburger that had been drained. And I took one of the Uncle Ben's ninety second rice, and it was the Spanish rice. Oh, and I added. Salt, pepper, seasoned salt, garlic, salt, cumin, to um, all that. 
and stirred that all together and then I simmered it uncovered because the rice see is already cooked after you prepare it the way it tells you on the bag so when it was done after 90 seconds I poured it in with the, the hamburger and it was just blah. no it didn't work so my first recipe was the better of the recipes but I guess it it fed me for one meal hopefully I don't have to eat that the rest of the week cuz yeah I got way too much salt in it and uh, it was the tomato was um, the flavor that is hang on was um, too intense oops I gotta go this way down it hang on I'm trying to hit the hole here so yeah no it was made way better it seems like there was a can of tomato sauce um, that you added into that mix on the first recipe instead of tomato paste and uh, stirred it in and it, I have made that not with minute rice anymore because frankly after living at home for 18 20 years I decided I didn't really like minute rice so I had been making it with uh, regular long grain rice I just put a cup of long grain rice in there and and actually I had been in later years they have this rice boil in the bag so I would cook it up separately and it's in a bag so you squeeze the, the liquid out of it and I would add it in there and simmer it for a while so that uh, it absorbed all the flavors and everything but I thought it tasted way better with regular long grain rice than it ever did with minute rice that minute rice has a funky taste to it I just I don't like it I I haven't bought minute rice probably in 15 20 years just for that sheer taste that I don't know if they changed something in it I just don't like the way it tastes and I would take this stuff after I'd cooked it because like I said it absorbs most of the water into the rice and uh, so it's kind of a loose rice with hamburger and the corn and everything and I've taken it and put it in green peppers you know like hollow out a green pepper and then made stuffed green peppers with it and it was really good that way and I can eat that stuff all day long and it freezes really good you just freeze it in a, a Ziploc bag and then when you go to use it you know the next time just let it defrost completely and then um, I kind of stir it up and uh, if I thought it needed it I might add a little more tomato sauce but sometimes it, it well, yeah let's put that on before hello oh god oh I forgot what I was saying just you know like when you take it out of the freezer if you think it's too dry add a little bit of tomato sauce uh, to it and uh, heat it you know stir that around but it it's really a good filling meal you know and it can be used like I said for stuffing green peppers if you you know you like stuffed green peppers but uh, I know I used to make stuffed green peppers with minute rice too but no not so much and then lately within the past say five or six years green peppers have not agreed with me so we haven't been making too many stuffed green peppers but I like it that hamburger mixture just by itself because it'll heat up in the microwave really well you don't have to get it on the stove and all that crap just throw it in the microwave and it heats up beautifully but uh, so needless to say my little experiment tonight did not work on dinner so that was what we were having I had Chinese food last night and the night before I had Mongolian beef from our Chinese place it was really good it's kind of a change of pace from Kung Pao chicken 
I like Kung Pao chicken, but every once in a while, one has to have something different. So. Well, we almost got this little section done. Oops, that puppy is way too small. Oh, don't tip that over. <sighs> Whoops. Haven't watched too many other people's videos lately. I just been kind of in a funk, shall we say? Just I don't know. I get this way and then I go on. I I wouldn't say I was depressed. I'm just I don't know. Just not in, appealing to me right now. So oh, I'll catch up someday. But. Uh, any more of this whoa come back here I was gonna show you as soon as I get these there's about four beads here I want to whoops whoops get in there oh come on really you too well cry now loud we hit on a bad patch I have beads and diamonds all over this floor. I just have no patience. And I sweep up the floor and throw them all away. Eh, not into figuring out what goes where. Doesn't even appeal to me. You know, and frankly, I haven't ever, hardly ever used any of the excess diamonds that I have. I'm kind of feeling like Stitcherista. She just throws them away. But. And that's probably the smart thing to do because then you don't have hordes and hordes of all different kinds of drills. If I'm going to give a project to somebody, I will make them up a kit, um, you know, to go with the diamond painting. So that if, you know, one should fall out or something, then uh, they can... Uh, you know, have a replacement... Kind of like sending an extra button, you know, with a new shirt or something. But, uh, okay, hang on. Got to get out of this little corner. But, uh, yeah, I've never used any. I haven't felt the need. But, and I don't have a big over over surplus or anything. It all fits in that notebook that I keep. Hang on, we're, we're shifting here. Okay. All right, let's see. Now I was going to show you. Ouch. Dang, damn it. Get in there. I'm going to put these away just so I don't spill them. Whoops. I almost dropped that right in my coffee. That would have been hysterical. Oh, yeah, I'd have been totally pissed. Whoops, sorry, guys. I'm trying to move you back a little bit. Let me get that thing so I can show you. I got all the colors in their plastic baggies. You probably can't see that because that was on top. All the baggies are inside. And I put the instruction book and the canvas. I just kind of lightly float, folded it right there. But I started down in this corner. And got that little, hang on, we got to move you up a little bit that little part done and then I went up here and I'm working on the the log cabin up in here wanted to see what that was gonna look like or if it was gonna look like anything at all but yeah that's basically all I've been working on I haven't done anything else I just get into spurts but at least you know it's in its own thing with all the colors and the instructions for each one and then I just keep it right on my thing and that way I don't chance spilling something on it but, uh, well guys thanks for joining me tonight and uh, listening to me yip and yap let's see if I can come out Ooh, sorry just made everybody sick didn't we 
Let me see if I can pull this up so you can get the full effect. And then see if I can get it tightened in the right direction. So we got all over here, all the way across here. And then we just finished that part. We can go back down. So that's going to be like some purple-ish flowers. And they, they're they going to come. Whoops, sorry. I touched the camera. I'm so silly. Um, that'll come across here where that 31 is. Where the little half. What do you call it? The little half triangles are at. So yeah, it's coming. Not fast, but it's coming. But thank you for joining me, guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you know when my next video comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you already have, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. Night, guys. Have a good evening. God bless.